All right, it looks like Candace Owens was suspended from the platform GoFundMe. And so I saw an article pop up on my Yahoo Mail. And now, just so you guys know, we're going to read the article. But just so you know, I'm not going to even pretend that Yahoo is some unbiased source or something like that. And they don't have a political agenda that they're trying to drive. So keep that in mind as you hear the article. So and take everything with a grain of salt. So here we go. It says, GoFundMe suspended pro-Trump personality Candace Owens from its fundraising platform on Sunday after Owens raised more than 200000 on the site for an Alabama cafe whose owner called George Floyd a thug. Owens has become one of the right's most prominent critics of Floyd in the protest held after his killing, with one video she made highlighting his criminal record going viral on Facebook. Those same remarks appear to have prompted GoFundMe to ban Owens. She later repeated the same attacks on Floyd during a chat with right-wing star Glenn Beck, and that video was boosted by President Donald Trump. In a statement, GoFundMe said that Owens, who is black, has spread falsehoods against the black community. GoFundMe has suspended the account associated with Candace Owens, and the GoFundMe campaign has been removed because of a repeated pattern of inflammatory statements that spread hate, discrimination, intolerance, and falsehoods against the black community at a time of profound national crisis, the fundraising platform said in a statement. These actions violate our terms of service. Owens has been raising money for the Parkside Cafe in Birmingham, Alabama, which has been embroiled in social media controversy after co-owner Michael Dykes called Floyd a thug and described protesters as idiots in a text message that was later posted online. In his text message, Dykes also discussed raising prices and charging a protest tax. All right, and just so we're clear, I'll go ahead and read the text that Dykes sent his employee um, that she leaked online. Uh, it says, we should go up one or two dollars on everything until June 10th. Call it a protest tax because all the idiots that went to protest are responsible for us not being able to open normal hours. Any employees that went or are still going should resign. Mr. Floyd was a thug, didn't deserve to die, but honoring a thug is irresponsible. All right, and now back to the article. It says, the cafe has since apologized for Dyke's tweet. And by tweet, I think that they mean text message. Um... And in its statement, GoFundMe said it would transfer the money Owens raised to the cafe after ending the fundraising campaign. Owens reacted to her GoFundMe suspension on Twitter, saying it was proof that conservatives live in a world that tells us that our very existence is unacceptable. All right. So now here's the thing. So first off, I don't really personally agree with Candace Owens um, saying that, you know, everybody's making Floyd out to be a hero or a martyr. I haven't seen anything like that. Maybe there's people out there that are saying that, but from what I've seen, that's not what it seems to be in my opinion, okay? So first off, I agree with that, and therefore I disagree with her going and trying to dig up dirt on Floyd and trying to show how he had a bad past. I don't really care what Floyd did in the past, the same way I don't really care what anybody has done in the past to a certain extent, if they die unjustly. And that's what the issue was about, was about the unjust death of Floyd. So I think that that's reasonable, and everybody seems to agree, for the most part, that his death was unjustified. So I don't understand the point of bringing in all the dirt and all that other stuff, and I just didn't think it was helpful at a time like this. But that's my opinion. All right. And now, secondly, I don't agree with the views of a lot of people. OK, and I think that that's probably normal for a lot of people that do political commentary or do um, religious commentary or whatever, cultural commentary. I don't agree with the views of a lot of people. But at the same time, I would never in my wildest dreams want them to not have a voice at all. Because I don't want to live in a world where people tell me what to believe. I want to see the different views and perspectives from all the different sides. And then I want to hear their views. I want to think about it myself and then make an informed decision myself. So the fact of the matter that they try to suspend people who have different views, because what she said and what the store owner said, those were just opinions. OK, like um, and what she said, if she quoted the statistics correctly, which I'm agnostic about, I'm not really sure because I haven't looked into the statistics at that level. Um, but if what she said is fact, then that's a fact. You know what I mean? And so it's opinions and facts. We should not be suspending people or canceling them behind those things. All right. Now, the other thing is having opinions today seems to be coming increasingly more and more of something like a crime. And I think this should be alarming for anybody. I don't care what side of any debate you're on. I don't care if you're a Christian or an atheist, a conservative, a liberal, far left, far right. Nobody I'll put it this way. Everybody should be concerned with people that are trying to silence views because one day they'll come after your views that you don't like. And what happens when they silence your views? If you're okay with that, I don't know what to tell you. 
All right. Because in my mind, the only way that we can move forward as a society and progress is if we have this freedom of speech, if we have the First Amendment. So that way we can actually discuss different view, our different ideas and views that might offend some people. But at least if we can do that, we can talk together collectively without there being so much animosity and stuff towards each other, because people are going to be used to the fact that some people have, a view, uh, have opinions and views that will hurt your feelings. That's OK. At least we can discuss it and move forward. OK. Um, so I think that what I want to say is that it doesn't really matter where you're at and where you sit on the debate. The fact that these large um, social media sites and these fundraising platforms are starting to silence some people and only allowing some people's voices to be heard should be concerning for all of us. Now, the other thing that I wanted to say was that if you look at these other countries, right, you look at a lot of these other countries, a lot of them don't have this First Amendment that we have, right? So if you want to live in a world people in America and people in the West, if you want to live in a world where you can't say things, you know, like you have in these Islamic countries or in North Korea or in China, where you can't say some things, if you want to live in a city like that, or I mean a country like that, then I say keep going the way that we're going. But if you don't, I think it doesn't matter how much you detest Candace Owens or her views, you should be against this type of censoring, period. All right. And lastly, I want to say that it's no secret that a lot of these, um, you know, major news outlets, these um, or these um, talk shows, um, like late night shows and all them, most of them are largely on one side of the, the spectrum, right? And a lot of the times they're usually against a lot of Christian thought, right? And I think it's the same thing. So for us that are Christians, it should also be valuable. Same with people that are atheists. You have a minority view as well, right? So you should also value the ability to say that you don't believe in God and then give your reasons for it and have an open discussion and dialogue behind it. That's what makes America good. So anyways, those are just a few of my thoughts. Um, let me know if you agree, disagree down below. You're free to do whatever because, as we said, this is a free country, at least for now, or it should be. So let me know what you guys think down below. And the next time that you see these social media sites and these platforms suspending people just based off of their opinion, what are you going to say? What do you mean? <laughs>